In this video, I'll show you how I took this engine stand and convert it into a two banner stand. Now this would allow me to switch easily from the vertical or horizontal position when bending too. But it needed a few little tweaks to fit my needs. The main one, it seemed like this engine stand had a slight angle. I wanted to make that 90 or perpendicular. And it seemed like the back of the stand sat about a quarter inch lower than the front. And because I wanted to save some space in my garage, I wanted it to slide under and fit under this rack. So next was to pretty much break it all down. Uh, pretty much I wanted to get the main arm so that I can easily uh, clamp it down into the bandsaw to cut it down to length. So once I got the base off, pretty much took it over to my table vise and use a cutoff wheel to trim it all off. To take off the remaining metal, pretty much took it over to my belt grinder and pretty much sanded it all flush. Uh, to make the actual mount, that attaches the two bender to the actual engine stand or the head of the engine stand. Um, I pretty much use some three by five by quarter inch wall angle. This would be the piece needed to connect the two bender and the uh, engine stand together. Then I pretty much took the angle and marked out where the holes needed to be from the slots and drilled two holes. So this is how it looks like all mounted up. I'll probably add a little gusset uh, to better support it. So next was to locate the hole locations from the uh, actual two bender so that I can actually figure out where I'm gonna need to drill the next set of holes. So after I drilled those holes, I just grabbed some scrap plate and reinforced the mount even further. Now let's do a quick fit test. I uh, added some uh, quarter inch plate here uh, at the base so that it would offset the back a little bit to make it more level. Before I would go any further, I want to do a quick dry run to make sure I cleared everything. So I hooked up the uh, tube bender to some air and gave it a quick run. Pretty close here, but I figured, you know, I probably could have shifted up the uh, angle bracket up a little higher so it would clear, but it seemed to work. It's about a quarter inch clearance, so I think that should be fine. To make the uh, mount more stout, I decided to pretty much uh, weld it flush instead of just relying on the actual bolts because I knew over time it would sag, so I cleaned off the paint and you know, tack a few beads in there so that it would hold. So next was to get rid of this wobble at the base. Originally there's a bolt that kind of holds it all together, but it doesn't really do a good job. So I figured I'd make it more permanent and weld that permanently. Keep the uh, head locked in the uh, vertical position. I had to drill out a second hole for the uh, the locking pin. Uh, I wanted to use the same hole, but there wasn't enough meat on the uh, the head part, so I just ended up drilling a new set of holes in the back. So here's a quick demo of how it all works in the horizontal configuration and moving to the vertical configuration.
One thing I'll add to the stand is probably some locking casters. This would kind of make it easier to keep it stationary while I switch from horizontal to vertical. Now let's to uh, run some tube in it and see how this all bends. So originally I was using a bolt as a pin, but then I switched over to this hitch pin and you can see when the tube bender was moving, it bent it a little bit. Um, luckily I was able to still make it work. So uh, let's grab some longer stuff. Uh, I think this is like a 10 foot stick, but you know, let's say you had a, a 20 foot stick and you're, you're building a roll cage. Bending it in this horizontal position would be kind of tricky. You can see here, I just kind of exaggerated this a little bit, but imagine, let's say you had equipment on the side and you couldn't bend that way. Um, I think flipping it to the, uh, the vertical position uh, will work a little bit better. This would allow you to bend something long upwards, uh, taking advantage of that vertical space, especially if you don't have the, uh, I guess, the horizontal space. At the end of the day, it mainly is user preference, but just having the ability to bend in the horizontal or vertical position is nice to have and you'll never know when you'll need it. Anyways, I hope you found this information helpful. Um, if I missed something, let me know in the comment section um, or if you guys have any questions, uh, I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, I gotta end it with my son helping me out. Um, you can see he's pretty much the right height for this tube bender as well, so he can probably use it down the road. Um, we got a few more products down the pipeline. Hopefully we can do maybe a go-kart one day together. Uh, but right now I got this uh, tube bender stand built so I can build some custom sliders for my Toyota 4Runner. So stay tuned for that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.